I have a collection of amazing prompts for you. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? We haven't done a video like this in a long time. These prompts are mainly for mid journey, but I will also show you stable diffusion results of these prompts. My Patreon supporters get a PDF with the collection of these prompts. But if you want to have them for free, you can follow me on Twitter, where I often post prompt like this and all of the prompts included in this video on my Twitter account. Let's get started. Let's start off with this super cute image here of a hamster. The prompt is photorealistic cute hamster wearing colorful Hawaii shirt and expensive golden sunglasses holding a glass of champagne in one paw standing on an expensive yacht wooden floor out on the ocean. Great detail extra wide angle HD 8K and then of course the prompt commands for mid journey. Now these look really amazing, really cool. The glass looks often a little bit more like beer, but I think that's okay. And here we have the stable diffusion result, which actually looks like a champagne glass. So that's better. And this is done with a turbo model. So you can get even better details with an SDXL model and the full amount of steps. Well, let's go to the next prompt. Super cute glass figurines of a cute animal. So in the bracket, you can write an animal you want to have as a glass figurine. I would say cute cuddly pets work the best, but you can try any kind of thing. For example, a seal or a lion or a dolphin. Play around with that. You have here different versions. Of course, they're going to be randomized in the style you get, but the results are pretty amazing of what you can create with this. And here again, we have a result with stable diffusion. I would say the result is really beautiful. The background scene is not as alive, but you can put that in the prompt if you want to and get something where the glass figurine is more in a room with a nice background bouquet. The next one, this is one I absolutely love. Highly stylized and anthropomorphized portrayal of a dog breed. Again, put a dog breed in these brackets, remove the brackets, of course. Human-like qualities positioned in a regal pose against a floral background, a touch of elegance and softness, wearing round ornate sunglasses with detailed rims, clothing, luxurious feel of the portrait. The attire is richly embroidered, featuring floral patterns, noble aristocratic portrait playfully reimagined and of course then the additions for mid journey now as you can see here we get some really cute images here try out all kinds of dog breeds you can get really really cute stuff with this you can also try of course different ratios in here but I absolutely mm, I love these images and here we have the version of stable diffusion it is a little bit less realistic more like a painting but I think that's okay and again the style is just very beautiful beautiful that you get with this and you can get even better higher quality if you upscale this with the full steps of an SDXL model. Let's go here to the next image. Similar subject but a more modern style. In front view portrait of a dog breed again replace that by your own idea of the dog breed wearing 1960s mid-century space age fashion backdrop is a deep natural blue setting a stark contrast with it accentuates the subject fluorescent put a color here that you want to have for the clothing shade wearing a very fashionable lounge coat and sunglasses are a hip 1960s style clothing all in one color. Again, the mid journey additions for the style, for the ratio, things like that. Of course, you can play around here with the clothing items, with the colors, also with the background color. So there is more adaption here. But if you just want to change out the dog breed and the color of the clothing, you are also good with that. And you can see you get some really beautiful, very photorealistic styles with that. This is amazing. And it's also really nice for entertainment. It's good for memes. It's good for social media posts. You can do so much with this very nice prompt. Here we have the stable diffusion version. Very cool, very nice, a little bit more plasticky from the clothing, but you can adapt the prompt, play around with that to make it even better. Here I changed the prompt so it is a close up of a dog so you get more of this kind of portrait style for the image. Next, I love these 
romantic sceneries in the landscape, a getaway. So here the prompt is a beautiful romantic subject. In this case, you would write a church, a house, a lock, things like that. Then you have flowers, distant view, 8K, dreamy digital art, cozy style with warm colors. Style is a typo here, but it works. You can still correct that if you want to. And you can see here, I have different sceneries here. We have, for example, an autumn scenery. We have a church in here. This is a nice farmhouse. So play around with the different subjects you want to put here. The flowers in the foreground really give it more of this kind of depth and also romantic scenery. Here we have another one more in the winter. So play around with the scenery, but I would keep the flowers in there to have something in the foreground. This is the stable diffusion version. It is really beautiful, has a lot of atmosphere, different artistic style, but I would say it still works very well. This is our next image. Absolutely love this style. You can use this again for a lot of different things, like for example, book illustration. If you write a children's book or if you make an adventure game, there's so many things you can do with that. So here the prompt is comic book color sketch line art style, an adorable hue human hybrid, then you have the subject here. Again, try to find, for example, an amphibic animal or something else you want to use like a lion or it could be a frog or things like that. You can try around with that. Man holding a walking stick. You can replace the stick also with other things like anything like a sword. For example, in this case here, we also have this kind of more hanfu clothing. So can you can play around with the content. Here we have a snake and as you can see, even that works very well. Here we have more like a is it a salamander? I wouldn't say it's a salamander, but he has more like a sword, sword dagger. And here again, we have a toad with a stick. He looks more like a wizard. Very nice. This is the version of Stable Diffusion SDXL Turbo model. Now here I had to change this a little bit where I wrote wearing Hanfu. And I think also I added standing so you get more of this kind of style. Play a little bit around with the prompt. You have to adapt it a little bit for Stable Diffusion to actually work. But you can see you can get really nice results and I only changed the prompt a little bit. Let's go to the next one here. This absolutely melts my heart. I love things like that. I love Disney movies, Pixar movies, all that cute style. And you might know the lion from their film. This looks actually pretty close to that. This is from Mid Journey, of course. Cute Disney design style, render of an animal baby subject. Again, change that to anything you want with a round body and large glowing pupils edge light with a soft pastel background. And as you can see here, I switch it out. I have here a baby cat, for example. We have a baby dog. And here we have a nice cute hamster in a field. So you can also switch around a little bit with the background, play around with that, what you want to have there. There's a lot of variety in there. Don't go too far or it might not work anymore as the image as intended, but you can get really, really cute images with this. Here we have the stable diffusion version in this case. It's not 100% as cute because it doesn't have this kind of really nice render style you have here from these kind of Disney Pixar movies, but still you're getting a very nice picture. And I think if you play a little bit more with either the prompt or using a different model, you can get something that looks even better and more Disney-like than this one here. Let's go on to the next image here. This one is not a very stable prompt. This is why here I have put the prompt every single time. So we have different prompts here. In this case, for this image, old lady standing in an isometric mini world pop out effect in 3D. And here you have these double colons. This is creating a multi prompt. So this is kind of breaking up the prompt into multiple parts of a prompt. And it works a little bit better, but it's not very stable. I will tell you that you're not going to get this exact result. Now here we have another version. You can see the prompt is changing an isometric 3D. 3D model of an old woman. Here we have the double colon two standing in a mini world pop out effect in 3D double colon one. Play around a little bit with that, but I like the results and a lot of people like that. This is actually one of my tweets that went viral. So this is pretty cool. Here we have another version, a plastic 3D model of a man smoking a pipe. And then again, standing in a mini world pop out effect in 3D. So it has some similarities to it. And this is the last one, which is a little bit different from the style, but still 
very cute, very nice expressiveness here. Again, an isometric 3D model of a man smoking a pipe. Let's go to the SDXL version here. This I had to do a lot of rolls for. It didn't work very well because usually it would create an isometric world in a little cube. But uh, here it worked quite well. I put in a tilt shift effect. This is why parts of the woman is also in a blur but it's still good it's very nice and again when you upscale this if you render it with a full sdxl model with more steps you get even more details into it. so experiment with that it can get some really cute results let's go here to the next one this is about valentine's day about embracing love i created different images for that again with the pixar style animation a subject and subject are embracing each other. So here you can write, for example, a man and a woman or a woman and a woman, or you can also put in the ethnicity. So for example, here we have a black woman and a white woman, and you can see with the different variations I created here. I just wanted to cover everything for Valentine's Day uh, in that post. So we have different combinations here of age, of gender, to basically represent everything. You can see how beautiful that works for mid journey. And again, you can do so many things with that. I can be so cool for your social media posts, for your greeting card, for your website. There's a lot of different applications of these kind of things that I really love. And also it has a lot of artistic expression. This is the SDXL version, which worked quite well. I had to test a little bit around with the prompt, especially the face expression was a little bit strange. So I put happy old man and happy old woman, but then it kind of worked pretty well. The fingers here, like she only has four fingers on her hand. So there is some more improvement or maybe in painting needed, but it's a good start and you can see it works very well. Let's go on here to the next image. I love this artistic style, very dynamic, very powerful. Again, you can do so many things with that. Here the prompt is graphic novel, noir style illustration of a subject, fast movement, high speed, marker sketch illustration, black, white and red color palette. You can of course change these colors out. Motion trails, low angle perspective, neutral black background. This by the way is done with Nietzsche 6 as you can see here, not with version 6 of Mid Journey to get a more graphic style in here, but play around with the version. You can see here different subjects like a dancer with these motion lines, making it very animated, really beautiful. Here we have a lion raging, being aggressive, the eyes are glowing very very good here we have a musician like really ripping on his guitar so this gives a lot of animation and expressiveness and the good thing is this works very well also with SDXL with stable diffusion you can see here we have very beautiful motion lines of a car racing towards us really beautiful let's go here to the next prompt this is very nice a little bit of this kind of fish eye effect in here so the prompt reads dynamic power movement fast speed cinematic dramatic super fish eye shot of a subject again you can switch it out to anything you want here we have a skateboarder the angle is just amazing so close to the skateboard so close to the ground shooting upwards really dramatic beautiful shot here we have a car racing towards us with these motion lines very beautiful this one I absolutely love where we have is it a Harley Davidson It's kind of a motorcycle we see it POV from the perspective of the rider very beautiful riding into the sunset such a great shot and here we have the flash so you can also try out different superheroes and this is also what I did with SDXL so look at that image here looks a little bit different it could be a little bit more colorful so play around with the prompt but the motion the animation the running through the towards the camera and the motion trails that go towards the back and the fisheye effect everything is here makes it very dynamic very expressive let's go here to the next image this is something that really took me by surprise very interesting something i could not 100 percent replicate with stable diffusion maybe you have more luck with that here the prompt reads very very extreme absurd fantastic subject extreme close-up with fish eye dramatic camera angle dramatic blue light neon effect colorful fashion shot highly detailed and these these crazy things is something that mid journey can do really well so here we have other versions in this case i wanted to have a dragon or a lizard woman this is why she has so many scales on her body still 
looks very very nice here we have an actual is it a lizard no they are called different write in the comments what they are called and here we have the last shot again beautiful this is what mid journey is really good at this is the stable diffusion version it's not as dramatic it's not as dynamic maybe you can find a version that works better for this where you have this real nice close up and this kind of fisheye effect but still i really like how this looks and this is done with this prompt and then at the last prompt i have here something for you that's more playful more fantastic it is very extreme strange good dream scene colorful tried it out it's very erratic it gives you very random results but they are very cool they have something I find like it makes you dream and meditate and think about the universe it's really interesting to look at these images because they really feel like the stuff you dream about like also these kind of dreamy scenes that you see in movies and the composition is beautiful so mid journey is really also very good at that and you can see also these kind of bubbles that come up this is actually like you are dreaming with your eyes open and this is what stable diffusion as the L is creating also very nice also very beautiful you can go even more crazy if you put landscape into the prompt it was an absolute blast to experiment with these prompts for you check them out on my twitter account thank you very much for watching this video leave a like if you enjoyed this and see you soon bye my friends oh you're still here so uh this is the end screen there's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool and yeah i hope i see you soon uh, leave a like if you haven't yet and well, um, yeah.